Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today I got another tutorial for you guys. I know it's been a while, but I'm back. Um, this one, this tutorial is going to be a little bit more complex and a little bit longer than my other ones. But if you guys are ready, let's do it. Uh, no time wasted here. Boom! All right, guys, so here we go. So I dragged my two clips on my timeline and I did film these vertically. So every time I go into making a new project, I always go down a custom and then I switch these two numbers. So I'll flip it 1080 by 1920 Boom. and it creates a vertical editing space so when I export this it'll fit the TikTok and like Instagram stories framing so let's go back to our project right here so let's jump right into it on the sunglasses transition all right so I have this shot right here where she's pulling down her glasses it's a little bit shaky so I slowed it down by 25% I might slow it down a little bit more so I'm gonna go to custom I'm gonna slow it down to 15% okay these are the two same shots right here so custom. so I slowed my clip down so I know both of these clips are the same but this is just for the example uh, so you're gonna go down here to your effects panel, you're gonna type in mask, you're gonna grab your masking tool and you're gonna drag it onto your clip. All right. So what I like to do is I like to zoom in a little bit more so I can be precise when I'm masking. So the more time you take with this guys, um, the better it's gonna look, but I'm gonna do it fairly quickly just for an example. So you're gonna draw a mask all around the sunglasses like I'm doing right here all right now it's gonna black out the whole screen don't worry about it you're just gonna come down here and you're gonna click on invert mask okay let's fix that a little bit all right now the second thing you're gonna do is you're gonna track the mask basically what that means is when I come down here and I play the clip you can see that the mask starts to move so Tracking a mask basically means we're going to go frame by frame and we're going to move it in the same place so it doesn't move. In order to track the mask, all you're going to do is you're going to come to transform and control points. You're going to click on these keyframes right here, add a keyframe on um, position, rotation and scale and then also on your control points. Now we're going to go frame by frame and we're going to just move the mask so it fits the sunglasses this obviously takes a lot of time but it's well worth the effect so as you can see the mask is moving and I'm just moving it back into position All right, I think right there is about good uh, for me. As you can see, if we play it back, we can see that the mask is staying in the same position. Just for time purposes, I'm gonna cut it right here. Now the next thing you can do so your mask kinda fits in a little bit better is you can add some feathering. As you can see, that kinda smooths out the mask. So this is something I highly recommend. So I'm just going to smooth it out a little bit. Okay. Now I'm going to go back here so I can fit it into my timeline. All right. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to come down here to fill opacity. So right now it's at a 100%. So we want to click that keyframe at the beginning. Okay. And then we want to come all the way down to the end of the clip and drag the opacity down to 0%. Okay, so now you're gonna drag your clip on top. This is basically just smoothly dissolving the clip underneath. Okay, so then next you're gonna go to new compound clip, click on okay. And then with the highlighted clip, you're gonna click on this arrow, go to crop, go to can burn. A can burn is basically an electronic zoom. So right now, this is starting from the outside and ending on the inside, so that means it's gonna be zooming in. We want it zooming out, so all we have to do is just flip it with these arrows up here. Click on that. Now it's gonna start from the inside and on the outside. 
and we're just gonna compress this little box where it's starting and we're gonna fit it right where her glasses are now if we play it back we can see that it starts zooming out of her glasses and it dissolves away the clip underneath because we messed with the opacity all right so this isn't perfect guys um i did it fairly quickly but the more time you take with it the better it's gonna get all right so yeah guys this is how you guys do the transition and if you guys have any questions just comment them down below and i hope to see you guys in the next video